hey guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to be sharing this cute valentine's purple press on tutorial so if you're interested please keep watching it's not what i say it's what i'm doing and how i'm doing it so for today's nails i'm going to be using goldfinger in the color gc40 it is a soft purple pinkish color the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and dehydrate my nails. I use either acetone or um, alcohol, regular rubbing alcohol, and I go in with a Q-tip and just make sure that my nail beds are fully coated. And this is just to dehydrate and remove anything that is left over on your nail bed um, before application. Next, I'm going to file my nails and I'm going to make sure that I'm getting any dead skin or um, just that top layer of my nails completely sanded off. You want to make sure that you do this a good number of times and make sure that your base is ready for the application of the nail. So for the last step of prep, I'm going to be using my cuticle pusher and making sure that I'm pushing my cuticles back as well as removing any dead skin from the nail bed. So now we want to grab our nails and we want to make sure that we're getting the right sizing. Um, I normally just pour out all the nails and basically measure them along my nail bed and what I do is I look from side to side to see if it fits the nail bed without touching skin. The real key to this is to make sure that it is within the nail bed and it looks like it is actually growing out of your cuticles. If you have them too wide or on the sides of your nail it will look very chunky and unnatural. It will look just like a fake nail so you want to make sure the sizing is perfect before you even grab the glue and what I do to be organized and make sure that I'm not um, messing up when it, when I grab the glue is I make sure I lay them out in the like hand format so I know exactly which finger is for which nail So the glue that I love to use is the Kit the Kiss Power Flex brush on glue. It's just very easy to apply um, because I can easily brush it onto my nail bed. It's not messy. I can use the right amount, and I just love it. Um, but what I've noticed about this one is I accidentally left the top open, so the glue froze on the brush, and so there's a big glob, and this made application so 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 hard um, because the brush wouldn't brush it on there so I had to literally just poke glue onto my nail bed um so yeah if you choose to use this glue it works amazing but please close your top because yeah now the real key to making your press-ons last is to apply and dip your press-on nails into acrylic powder the acrylic powder that I use is from Kiss and it's a clear one um, and this just kind of solidifies the hold of your press on and I will never go back to just using glue. So what you're going to want to do is you want to paint the nail bed of the finger you're going to start with um, and you're going to paint that with glue. You're going to also take that press on nail for that finger and you're going to dip that into the acrylic powder. You're going to remove excess acry um, acrylic powder from the back of the nail and then you're going to paint the nail glue onto the nail. So you'll have glue on your nail bed and then you're going to have the press on nail at hand and you're going to dip that into acrylic powder and then glue on top of that acrylic powder before you press the nail onto your nail bed. I hope this is easy to understand. I did it a couple times so you guys can see it, but this order of things really, really, really make that salon type hope.
So once I'm done with one hand, I make sure I um, double check and make sure that none of the nails are on my skin or are too wide. And as you can see right here, this one was too wide. It was coming over the side of the uh, cuticle. Um, and so I go back and make sure that I remove this nail. And what I use is the Kiss Glue Off. I absolutely love this stuff. It works in seconds and it is it saves the nail for one. Um, and it also just removes it so good. So um, love this stuff. I'll put the nail glue on there and I'll use the applicator to basically lift it off. Um, and then I'm going to find another nail that is smaller. I sometimes go towards smaller nails that are smaller than my nail bed just because they look more natural they look more fitting they don't look chunky on just like they're just sitting on top of my nails i absolutely hate that um so i'm gonna go smaller but you kind of just play with this and see what looks good on your hands and make sure you do this before you just set these nails like they do not come off so that's why I make sure I do that before I do both hands. So now that I'm satisfied with the sizing, I sometimes go in and reshape the nails um, because these are default nails. They don't know what fingers they're gonna be on. So the sizing may not fit a ring finger or look appropriate for a middle finger. So you might have to go in and alter a couple nails um, to make it look like that's supposed to be for that finger. And what I do is I just get my file and I align it with my nail bit and just basically file straight up and down to make it more um, fitting for my actual finger. Um, it's not much work. Um, like I said, these are very easy things that even beginners can do. Um, but I just I just like adding that touch because I want it to look a little bit more um, personalized for my hand. There are also these little factory tabs at the tips of the nails. Um, I think that's just how they are made and like actually cut but I found those down as well and they come off very very easily and they're not always on every nail but I do find them a couple times so make sure you file those once everything is like I like it then I move on to the other hand and the other hand is very simple because you have sizing under the first hand and it basically tells you what will fit for the next hand. Now, it's not always the same. My thumbs, <laughs> they are not the same size. One is wider than the other. So you definitely still want to double check in size, but most of the time they kind of match. So this part is very easy. Next, you wanna go in with some cuticle oil. I ran out and I just haven't been up to the store to get more, but I've been using this Curlsmith Bonding Oil, which is for my hair. But it's been working so so good on my cuticles and it just gives that finishing touch to my nails that i absolutely love now a reminder you don't want to use too much cuticle oil or any oil at that um because oil can also remove press on nails now this nail glue is very good so it doesn't but i would highly recommend just using a tab bit on the back of your hand and then using your finger tabs to rub a little on your cuticles um, don't directly drip the oil onto your nails just in case it starts to think that you're trying to remove your nails so that's just me i don't put it directly on there but yeah yeah that's all that's to it um this is entire tutorial took about maybe 10 15 minutes um and these nails could last up to three weeks um and i absolutely love it i will never go back into the nail salon because this is a good way to have cute nails on a budget so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up um and until next time be blessed it's not what I say, it's what I'm doing and how I'm doing it.